and it's specifically Sir Chuckles. You can't just call him Chuckles. You got to pay homage to the seven years of schooling he went through during that PhD. That's Mr. Doctor Professor <laughs> Chuckles to you. Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're tuning in from. This is the BS Buddies Podcast. I'm your host, Ian. That's your host, Joe. And today, we've got an extra fun topic for you, which is to show our, um, what's, what's, what's the word, our vocabulary prowess. Eh, I, I would just say one. creativity, but you know, our, that works. Our creativity, vocabulary prowess, I feel works good. And by doing that, or to do that, we are going to... We've looked up a list of common household pets, and we're going to give our names for them if we had such an animal as a pet. There, I worded that in a way that sounds really cool and fancy and good and definitely not stupid in any way, shape, or capacity. So, uh, now it just goes downhill from here. So, buckle up, <laughs> and we got a list of 24 common house pets, according to Google. And we're, we're going to beat this list into the ground, like usual. Um, so I'm going to be reading them off, and we'll just go go from there. Down the line. Uh, so we do have dogs and cats on this list. We went with specific breeds for these, and the rest we just... Uh, too, much, too much effort. Too much. Um, so for the first one that it shows, uh, cats, we went with a Maine Coon. Big, big cat. Big, large, and fluffy, and soft. I love them. So, you, would you like um, to go first? <laughs> so, for me, there's there's a name that I've seen. It's a meme, and I would want to name a cat this so bad. Ever since I saw it, I really want it. If the cat has an underbite. I want to name the cat Princess Monster Truck. <laughs> Princess Just Monster. like the meme. Like, just imagine having... It's like, <laughs> I don't think you, I've seen that meme. I, I'll find it when you give your answer, but... Um, oh I have God. Jackson, Magnus, and Mara for my cats, and then it's like, oh, what about your other cat? Oh, yeah, that's Princess Monster Truck. Where'd you get that name? She's the size of a monster truck. She's the size of a monster truck, and she's beautiful. Look at those ears, huh? <laughs> I will look up the uh, meme for you while you... All right. Well, I don't know why. See, the, the my problem is that I don't base my names off of any particular feature that I might be able to distinguish about them. I just do what my heart speaks to me. And for some reason, when I think of a Maine Coon, I think Tater Tot. I, just, I feel like Tater Tot for a Maine Coon would just be hilarious, and I don't know why. Because one of my friends uh, in the service had a Maine Coon, and uh, his name was Oliver. And he was hilarious, because he was like a kitten, I think like eight-ish months old, eight to ten, when they had him. or So still fairly young, maybe up to a year, I don't know. But uh, he was teaching the cat to snarl when I went over and visited him. And I would play with it, and it would at you as it was like grabbing you with its freaking opposable thumbs but i feel like tater tot that's that's where i'm at perfect i also sent you a picture of princess monster truck so you can see this cat if you go on oh. google and just type in princess monster truck it's the first cat black cat with an underbite <laughs> oh i love it when my phone does this no subject downloading my favorite oh. meme of all time okay. well while you while you load that, uh, birds is the next one, and we'll just go with like the li little tiny birds, like the like, usually mm. small, colorful ones. Like a canary. Sure. Like a can we'll go with canary. I think for canary, I'll do something cute like dandelion, because yellow it makes me think of dandelions. I go with dandelion. I like yeah. dandelion. Um. For me, I love bad names for animals that make my fiance cringe. But for birds, uh, <laughs> no, I, I got to go. With, I'm going to have a lot of bad names. Like these are names I would love to name my animals, but I will always get shot down by everyone I know. So if I had 
you're gonna love to hate this. If I had a little like blue and yellow bird, little canary, <laughs> I would love to name it something like Frank. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> like okay, <laughs> that's the direction that you were going with that. Thank you. Oh, my heart can rest easy. <laughs> what did you think that I was gonna name I'm Canary? Glad. Frank makes is so much nicer than what I was thinking because when you told me, oh, I like to name them weird names that make my fiance cringe, my mind immediately went to the fuck are you naming it? Stinky McShart? Like, <laughs> are you like picking something just so obscenely off the wall? So, but Frank, I like Frank. I can deal with Frank. Hi, nice to meet you, Frank. He sounds like a good, upstanding man. I'd like to shake his hand. For my family, they absolutely hate when pets have, like, normal human names. Even though my sister named my mom's cat Penelope, out of all things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that we're going to skip past the rest of that story. Shoot. but <laughs> Just right on past. But, yeah, like, Frank. Like, I love, like, cute little animals that just have, like, this masculine name that you're just not expecting. It's like... I feel oh. like if I met a bird named Frank, like, like I'd walk into your place, be like, oh, Joe, you didn't tell me you got a parakeet. You'd be like, oh, yeah, this is Frank. Frank, say hello. And the bird looks and just goes, tweet, in that voice. Like, <laughs> he's super deep. You're like, it's nice to meet you, Frank. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> like, he, he said tweet. He didn't go tweet. He said tweet. Oh, uh, for the next one, uh, we'll combine these yeah let's just combine these two because it's fish and gold goldfish let's just go with goldfish make it simple i forgot goldfish will <laughs> i was thinking of the snack <laughs> i was like why would i name it again? the snack that smiles back like <laughs> uh, with with you saying that i would i don't know if this is the character's name but i would name it like chester I like that. Chester. I, I guess I'm thinking more like Cheetos, I believe. Chest, like just the cheese color. Go Chester. If I had to name a goldfish, I'm, I'm Chester. See, the problem is you've taken that. Now that's too clever. Chester. I would have a, like a Chester cheetah sticker on the side of the bowl <laughs> just for comedic effect. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Drop Cheetos in there for their food. Just cr like fresh it up over the bowl. Have them be belly up the next day. I'm not advocating for that, by the way. <laughs> Don't feature goldfish Cheetos. You did not hear it here first, kids. Um, God, goldfish. I don't know. I guess I've never given much thought to having a fish as a pet. I've had three. Uh, I had a bottom feeder. You can steal this name if you want. I chose Marlin for one of mine. Like the... Florida Marlin, Marlin or Nemo's dad. That's where I got the name from. Granted, that Gold. wasn't a goldfish, but. Goldfish. Why is this so hard? Why am I struggling this much to name a goldfish? I don't understand. <laughs> Trust like, me, I'm I was kind of panicking with the birds for a second there. This should not be this difficult to come up. It's a goldfish for crying out loud. Um, think of gold puns. Think of gold puns. What? What's a gold pun? Gold. Dust. Something that's a gold. Gold dust. <laughs> gold dust. Gold digger. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> this is no, my gold digger. Digger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> digger. I'm gonna name him. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I know that's a Dude. terrible name, but uh, you know what? Uh, we'll name him. Um... I don't know. Um... <laughs> Why? Why is this so stupidly hard? You can name him Lincoln. Bob. I'm gonna Lincoln. name him Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> you know why? Because he's got that brass coppery orange like a penny. Like a freshly minted penny. <laughs> so I'm going to call him Lincoln. I like it. 
Uh, this one no. isn't any easier. Well, maybe it is. Uh, snakes. If you had a snake, Ooh. what would you name a snake? Snake? If I had a snake, what would I name the snake? For me, the first name, and it could be just because of the book series I'm now finally got into, um, I would probably name it... <laughs> Oh, this I just realized this is a bad pun. Just like what you were looking for with your goldfish. I name it Cerverus. Cerverus Snake. Server Snake. I hate it. I hate it so much. But I can't say anything because mine's not any better. I'd name my snake Slinky. <laughs> I'd be like, what everybody what up everybody? This is Slinky. And then I'd train him to coil up like a spring so you watch what he can do. Boing! Oh my god! And like, you know, <laughs> that'd be fun. You had a snake that could jump. I want my pet that snake to do That would be terrifying. Things. Why would you as want a as... snake to jump? Well, if he was trained, if he, like, if he was on command, like, if I knew he wasn't going to, like, you know, try and size me up and eat me when I'm sleeping, like, that'd be cool to have, you know, a snake that jumps. Like, what if he's like a little gardener snake, right? Those guys are only like, like a corn they snake? Don't, they don't hurt nobody. Little corn snake. Yeah, little guy. Boing. That'd be cool. Look at him hop around like a little spring. Come here, Slinky. <laughs> the <laughs> next one is a parrot, which technically is a bird, but that's why I w went with canary for the other one. So we'll go with a parrot. A and parrot. I know you talked about, like, the gray parrot. The African gray parrots. Yeah. Which, if I'm getting a parrot, it's going to be that parrot. I want a parrot that can, you know, speak words to me. We'll go with that. I would name him Sir Chuckles. I don't know why, but that just speaks to me on a level that I feel is correct for an A. This is Sir Chuckles. And it's specifically Sir Chuckles. You can't just call him Chuckles. Like, you know, he's, he's philosophical. He says words. He's a thinking man up there on his little perch. You've got to pay homage to the seven years of schooling he went through to earn that PhD. So he is. That doesn't make any sense. But he is Sir <laughs> Chuckles. <laughs> he had to earn for, that that be knighthood. Doctor. For... doctor. <laughs> That's Mr. Doctor Professor <laughs> Chuckles to you. <laughs> for me, the first thing I thought of is bobbers. Bobbers. Bobbers, because what I thought of is like, Parrots like to, like, birds like to bob their heads. So then it's yeah, like, bob. bobbers bob. And then we just bob, bob together. That sounds, that sounds so close to bubbers. And at that point, I'm looking around for my cat. <laughs> uh, I next, like that, though. Bobbers. The next one, uh, it says lizard, reptiles, amphibians. We could all mix them together, kind of. Let's just go with, let's go with a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon? Yeah, one of those little ones. I'd call him Sodbuster. I don't know why, but I just... I've, there's something about the word Sodbuster that inherently makes me smile, and I, I don't know what it is, but a bearded dragon just feels like he fits that. Sodbuster. Buster, for short. I don't know if it's just from you, but I want to call it Sir Something, because they just seem... It feels more I'll, distinguished, doesn't it? I'll try and... Step away from that. Um, hmm. I'm kind of drawing a blank for this one. Oh, a bearded. Oh, I've got a. I've got a. I've got a good name for you if you can't think of one. If it's a female, because I think I said mostly male names, I would name it like Kathy. Kathy the bearded Kathy. dragon. Kathy the bearded dragon. There you go. Because, see, I was going to tell you, if you had a male one, go with Theodore. I feel Theodore's like that's quite one. distinguished. I feel like that's quite distinguished for a, a, a bearded dragon of culture, you know? You know what I'm saying? The next one, and we're also trying to get through at least this big list because we still got a ways to go. Uh, dogs, more specifically, blue healers. That is Ian's dog a choice, and they're adorable. They're and also highly intelligent and very um, one person. Like that's they make one person their very most important person at the top of their chain, and everyone else is like 
and they will fight you for that position. They're Henri, <laughs> but I love them. And Bluey is probably my favorite TV show right now. Not going to lie. So, uh, do you have a name in mind? I do, but mine is very cheesy, and it's not based on any kind of joke, uh, because I would simply name any blue healer that I had Boo in honor of uh, the healer, the blue healer that I had growing up on the farm that I grew up on. And she was a wonderful dog, and she passed away of old age. She was well-loved. She lived a good life. Um, but in honor of her, I would name one other one Boo, simply because it's a cute name, and I like it. So I like it, too. It's cute. For me, for a girl blue healer, I don't know, Lucy is kind of sticking out to me. It's kind of an old-timey name. Don't hear it around yeah. too often. Easy to call. That'd be a good one for a healer. I like that. Uh, Hamter. <laughs> Hamter? Hamter. Hamter. I, I have what st- would I name a Hamter? I'd name mine Benny. Benny I don't know hamster. why, but the first thing that came to me from to mind for me was Bill. <laughs> this is, <laughs> Bill this and Benny. Bill. Bill and Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. I, I can imagine it's one of those hamsters that has like the stupid hair on top that just looks like a <laughs> goofy hair. Like, this is Bill. Oh, <laughs> like he looks up and like his eyes are looking <laughs> different directions. It's like the fifties oh. greaser hair. Yeah, yeah. The just pompadour like, is, or whatever it's called. This is Bill. William for long, but he goes by Bill. <laughs> uh, the next one. Uh, I'm going to skip a lot of these. Cause it's, go for it. Uh, we'll, we will go with a turtle. Ooh, a turtle. Oh. What could you name a turtle? I thought of Snapper right away. I want something that sounds wise and old. Hmm. Oogway. <laughs> name no. Oogway. That name is taken and it will not be taken again. Video copyrighted immediately. I love the memes that oh. people make of him, though. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say a lot of them, but. What 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 do you what? <laughs> I love that one every time. What would um, I name a turtle? Um, thought of a really I feel like, stupid I feel, name. I feel like Benjamin. I feel like I'd, I'd go with Benjamin for a turtle, right? I, I... G man for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my name's G-Man. What's that short for, Benjamin? I, I hate you. <laughs> I thought uh, of a dumb one, like a stupidly dumb one. Well, I went with Snapper, which I think I'd more likely go with, but I just thought calling a turtle like Duck or something would just be stupid. Duck. And fun. Hey, you want to see Duck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Duck? Yeah, sure. I thought you were going to show me a Duck. Yeah, this is Duck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, don't or really Philip, re- I'd name a turtle Philip. I feel like that fits a turtle. Uh, how about a rat? A rat, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Because see, now I'm on a kick of regular names, but for some reason, to me, rat Keith, <laughs> like it just fits. This is Keith. For me, he's a rat. I know you said this name, but like Theodore, I think would be a cute rat name. Just get him a little top hat. Banking on that Alvin and the Chipmunks fame, huh? I forgot about that. Um, I feel like this one is going to have some bad jokes. What about a chicken? Um, I (laughs) name. I name him Kung Pao, or General Sos, <laughs> or Orange, <laughs> Honey. Salt and Pepper. Pe- 
shredded. <laughs> oh, um, so many good names to choose from. Sandwich, you know, like. <laughs> Uh, I'd I think I'd almost go with witch, like a spooky witch, witch, just for that yeah. like sandwich. From your witch, you could go with uh, God, what, what was the stupid one I just thought of? I don't even know. There's too many good ones to pick from, honestly. You go with kiwi. I'd name a chicken kiwi. There we go. I'd be like, what up, kiwi? A hedgehog. What would you name a hedgehog? Ooh. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Simply for the memes. For me, for some reason, I thought of like Sapphire. I don't know if I'd ever actually name a pet that, but Sapphire Cactus. is just kind of... I'd name him Cactus. <laughs> like, this is Cactus the Porcupine. <laughs> the Porcupine? And you guess where he gets his name from? <laughs> or Hedgehog. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> this is Cactus the Hedgehog. <laughs> Can you guess where he gets his name from? He gets it from his dad. <laughs> uh, Rosebush. The next, the next one. Rosebush. Shut up. The next one is Guinea Pig. <laughs> God, guinea pig. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha the guinea pig. Yes. Oh, see, the problem with guinea pigs is that guinea pigs are another one of those, like hamsters, they just the weirdest little creatures. What's a what'd be a fitting name for a guinea pig? I thought Samantha was pretty good. It is. It's it's quite fitting. But I need to think of something more for guinea pigs because they're just, to me, they're strange little creatures and they're hilarious to me. Like, they're hilariously adorable in a weird way. I can't explain it. Hmm. That any ideas? Oinkers. The name one, Oinkers. <laughs> I don't, because I can. Because pig is in the name and I'm not creative. <laughs> don't worry, you can be very creative with this one. How about a horse? Ooh, a horse. It's funny how different animals you can get more sophisticated with and others it feels like you just can't. It feels like the bigger the animal, the more sophisticated you can get with the name. For me, uh, I'm just kind of thinking like destiny. And how I kind of came up with that was uh, that's a horse name. That's yeah. That's a that's definitely a horse name. I was thinking. That's, I got that feeling. That's a horse name. I was thinking mystery, like from SpongeBob when he got the seahorse, and then I kept thinking of the other. Like maybe I can name oh, her I Grace. Can't find or... a coin slot. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's all I thought of when you mentioned that. I'm sorry, I had to put that out there. I, I thought about like Grace or Majesty or Dabby. All of those are very much horse names. You couldn't have gone wrong with any one of those. I won't lie to you. Destiny. That's. I've got. I've got an. I've got an interesting one. And I don't know why. I don't know why this is what my brain first thought of, but when we talked about horses. But I would name a horse Calliope. And this is weird because it's after the uh, Sherman Calliope tank, <laughs> which I'm, was a tank I'm that not had. Surprised. It was a tank that had, uh, uh, in World War II, that had a rocket launcher attached to the top. <laughs> it was like 50 tubes of rockets. So it could just. <laughs> and launch them out so i don't know why that connection happened but i just thought oh, calliope i don't that'd be cool that'd be a cool name so i'm going with calliope the picture uh -uh. i have in my head after you said that is you riding on the back of your horse 
and shooting Roman candles as you're <laughs> writing it. We are fulfilling your namesake. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a like a gun in one hand and Roman candles in the other. It's just like yeah. <laughs> um, we got a couple more left. Uh, oh yeah, another horse name I thought of is Black Midnight. If it's like an all black stallion, that's like a race horse name. Quartz. Name him Quartz. Not Quartz. Not not Quartz. Obsidian. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I'm uh ferrets. <laughs> a ferret? A ferret. Oh, weasel. A ferret. <laughs> <laughs> I name him Weasel. Uh, just to be that guy. I name him and this is my ferret, Weasel. <laughs> um ferret. I I'm thinking like Ralphie. Ralphie? Ralphie. That's a good one. Uh, we got some other ones we could do, but we'll end. We got, okay, now we got two left. A chinchilla. Ooh, a chinchilla. What would I name a chinchilla? Dusty. Simply because they're a little tan in color. I'd name him Dusty. Be like, look, everyone, this is Dusty. For me, looking at the picture, and that's why I've been looking up. I have it pulled up, so I have an idea. Um, I'd go with Ren. Ren? Ren? I like that one. That's nice. I know of a cat, a black cat named Ren, and it's adorable. And now I want to name an animal oh. Ren. Wonderful. And now for the last one that's probably like the hardest to name or easiest. An ant. <laughs> And will in fact be one of the two. Uh an ant. Hmm. I'm thinking Clark. The <laughs> Clark. Explorer. Clark the Explorer. You know what? I'll name mine Lewis. <laughs> Just so we can have Lewis and Clark. The two ants on an adventure of a lifetime. And then Betty's coming up behind him. Black Betty the Ant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Well, that... Oh, crap. Do we, do we need to look up quotes again? Were yeah, we unprepared? Again? Yeah, we're always unprepared. But, I mean, that was that was a fun one to do. So... I like that one. This, these is, this is one of those nice ones where we just kind of go at it and see what we come up with. If you couldn't tell, we came up with none of those beforehand, except... Probably Absolutely Ian's, none. Ian for the dog, which is understandable. I knew uh, that but, one. Uh, right but other away. than that, the 15 other ones, no. No idea. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm not creative at all, as you can tell. Heath and Frank. <laughs> uh, okay. Quotes. Um, this website. None of these are good. There. Um. <laughs> By Marilyn Monroe. Dogs never bite me, just humans. Uh huh. <laughs> um. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a little. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to say, yeah. I'm just going to agree with that one because I don't know. And I don't know enough to know what I don't know. Um, I'm going to here. I've got one. Uh, we can't avoid reasoning. We can only avoid doing it well. I like it. There you go. That one kind of makes sense. Who knows? Not me. I sure don't. Well, with that... We appreciate everybody for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, like, and follow to become a bud today, and you can let us know suggestions on what we can talk about next tell in the comments your, down below. Tell us your animal names in the comments. I want to know. You get, 
give us more animals. Give us weird animals that we don't know about that we have to look up and Google. <laughs> oh, but thank you for BSing with us. We'll see you next time when we have more pets join us. When we're a little bit more creative and we don't come up with names like Keith. But until then, I'm just going to take her easy. <laughs>